Hey, what's going on, everybody? Max here. I'm the CEO of Because Bitcoin, and the last video did so well, and you guys enjoyed it so much. We're back with part two, again, showcasing some of the awesome functionality that High Block has to offer. Thanks for tuning in. The next High Block tool that I'd like to go into is the Liquidations Heat Map. So you go up to Products, click Liquidations Heat Map, you click OK. And now this is one of my favorite tools here, and it's, it's very similar to the liquidation levels in the sense that you're able to identify a hot level where there's potentially traders that are subject to liquidations or having their positions forcibly closed. Now, here we're looking at the 12-hour chart, as you can see in the upper left corner. The exchange that we're looking at is Binance, and the ticker that we're looking at is Bitcoin. Now, what I like to do, I actually prefer to use this on a little bit of a higher time frame to help potentially identify swing trades. So maybe we'll move to seven day, then we'll check out a month. We'll click run. And now what we can see here, based on the different colors, is where traders are subject to forced closing of their positions. In other words, liquidations. So what we can see right here is that 30,000 is an extremely hot level for Bitcoin. Now, you can imagine it's a hot level because all throughout this area, maybe, you know, again, price is sitting right now at you know, just under 28K, 27.5. Right up here when we were pressing up against 30,000, um, you know, back in, uh, back May, May 4th, May 5th, May 6th, a lot of traders were presumably shorting the market given that price is now a couple thousand dollars lower than that. So May, May 5th, May 6th, May 7th, May 8th, traders were shorting, shorting, shorting. And there's a, a, there's a uh, there's an abundance of liquidations of all the traders that were shorting around here, potentially sitting up here around thirty thousand, and that's represented by how this color changes from dark blue, uh, symboling a lack of liquidations, um, to basically bright yellow or teal slash green, indicating that above these previous highs, there are traders that are subject to liquidations or forced closings of their positions. So again, this can be extremely useful in identifying uh, a range bound condition where perhaps this was a range high and down here is range low. And price can oftentimes find itself playing ping pong uh, between these hot levels, between these, these high time frame liquidation levels. So first you might take out a liquidation level below you, and then it'll seek liquidity above you and actually take out the other side of that range. So this is an extremely useful tool. We'll take a look at it on, on one more time frame here. We'll go to a three month. Again, I really like to use this for swing trading. It's extremely helpful. So again, you can see on this higher time frame look here at Bitcoin, this chart goes all the way back to the beginning of the year, early February for Bitcoin. You can see all of these potential liquidations that have piled up um, between 25,000 and 22.4. Now, it's, it's common sense, right? You imagine why would there be liquidations or potential liquidity resting you know, down at 25 um, and 24, well, we know the three most common leverage scales the traders like to use, 25 times, 50 times, 100 times. Now, imagine a trader was swing trading, and upon this breakout, maybe sometime around you know, 25,000, took a lower leverage long trade. Price went up, they're doing very well. Well, they are subject to force closing if price turns around and ends up hitting that liquidation level right there. So not that it's a guarantee, but it could help you, again, identify where traders are potentially vulnerable. And you know that if it comes back to a trader's stop loss, oftentimes you can use that as a potential buy area or buy entry. So pretty interesting to look at. Again, it's, it's sort of like having x-ray vision or a bit of a look behind the curtain of the market, where the players are positioned, how you should maybe position. So that's kind of all I have to say about that too. So the next tool would be the open interest profile. So you go to products, scroll down, open interest profile. Now, a lot of traders out there, they use uh, volume profiles on a regular basis, but volume profiles in the convention sense are very, very one-sided. They don't really do a good job of identifying whether it's buy volume or sell volume um, and really helping identify open positions or, or really give you much of an edge besides helping you identify a potential range breakout. iBlock Capital has done a really solid job um, expanding on the already pretty useful volume profile tool that most of us are familiar with on TradingView. Now, as I mentioned, HighBlock did a really fantastic job expanding on the already very useful volume profile that a lot of us use on a daily basis if you're an active trader. Now, volume profiles, the way that I use them, are extremely helpful in ranges and identifying where there is excess volume or volume gaps. Because obviously, as we know, 
where there are sometimes volume gaps. Uh, they tend to act as magnets and the, ch the chart um, or market makers will work uh, to fill in that void or absence of volume. And at the same time, if there's an excess of volume, uh, price will oftentimes seek that to retest that as either support or resistance. But now what High Block has done, and this is one of my favorite features, is they've been able to help identify potentially where somebody is buying or selling within that volume. So for example, let's imagine we're in a range right now on Bitcoin. The top of this volume profile represents 29.6K as a price of Bitcoin, and the range low represents about 27. So we'll just say between 27 and 30, about a $3,000 range. Now you can see here, again, for example, at 28,000, there was very, very little volume, actually sort of an absence of volume in the chart there. Now. Let's look at where our theoretical point of control would be, where the most volume occurred within this range between 27 and 30K for Bitcoin. So it looks like the point of control or where the most volume was, was right up here at 29,000. Now the question is, what type of volume occurred up here at 29,000, which is pretty close to our range high or the most, the most extreme point of our range, right? There was a lot of volume, the most volume in this $3,000 range happened at just over 29,000. Now we go over here to the volume profile sells and buys, and we're able to see that actually out of the 218 million in open positions that occurred at 29,000, 180 million of them were sells. And that would of course make a lot of sense given that price is now trading $1,500 below where the point of control of the range is being 29,000. Now this is extremely helpful because if we go back and we find 29,000 again. So again, we're just right now we're sitting at about 27.5, 27.6. If price manages to work its way back up to the range high, there's something you can look out for. There was 180 million. Again, a, a large majority, almost the entire entirety of this volume that occurred at 29,000 was in fact selling. So a couple things. We don't necessarily know if it was new money or old money entering the market or exactly what type of order it was but we can make a couple calculated guesses regarding what happened up here. So let's just make the assumption, again, hypothetically, that at 29,000, there was an abundance of short selling. A lot of people market shorting or potentially limit shorting 29,000, and they sent the price down. So if price right now sitting at 27.5 manages to work its way back up to 29, you can expect these traders here to likely protect their positions. This should act, again, 29,000, assuming that these were short orders, traders that are now in profit, they will work to protect that position. They, you will likely see some compounding and you could expect if you do come back to 29,000, you could expect some healthy resistance there and for price to not just slice through it like warm butter. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. We really hope you enjoyed the video and found some value out of it. Highblock really is a phenomenal company and they're doing some pretty amazing things helping people find their edge in trading. If you enjoyed some of the products that we showcased, please check out the link below. Sign up using our link. It helps support them and it helps support us. So thanks again for tuning in.